we are back tonight <clears throat> with some more hockey, surprisingly. I uh, haven't done a whole lot other than hockey yet, but was looking forward to doing some select basketball. And as I see, select basketball just released on Panini's website at $424 a box. So I may venture into buying one box, but uh, <laughs> I just, it seems like the inflation and the markup of the basketball stuff with Zion Williamson is getting a little bit ludicrous. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's my, it's my vent frustration piece for the, for the day and the week, but they just released uh, Fast Break Optic as well at $314 a box. So, I mean, it's it's getting a little ludicrous. So, I did get a hobby box uh, of Young Guns from my local LCS, uh, Dugout Sports Cards. He's an incredibly awesome guy. Very fun to talk to. His name is Dick Comerford. Um, one of the things, you know, I go in there and vent with him about is how he can't get allocation from Panini and uh, how he loves upper deck. So, does a lot of hockey. Um, I understand why now. <laughs> so... In this, we have a lot better chance of big names. Going to chase, you know, some of the bigger guys. Look for some of the inserts. In here, you're able to get UD exclusive, um, high gloss, and, uh, you know, the clear acetate stuff. So, in this, there is 24 packs per box. Same as the retail, but these are deemed hobby packs. So, a little bit better odds of pulling some of the better hits. Uh, so, let's see what we get. So, yeah. As you'll notice right on the pack. Ooh, where are we? There we go. Hobby. So jump into the first pack. So looking for about six young guns, like before. So our first card here is Patrice Bergeron. We've got Ali Mata. We got an upside down Brady Kachuk. Nazem Kadri. And then there's the Neil Bemstrom, which is the Marky rookie updates. Um, that same paper stock I showed you guys before. It's not numbered. Uh, but nice insert set. So put that off to the side. Corey Perry, Michael Froelich, and Miro Heskanainen. So. Jump into the second pet. There's a young gun in here. So we have Mike Smith. We have Jacob Markstrom. We have Wayne Simmons. And we have a Ryan Lindgren. I know I've got a Ryan Lindgren already. Um, he is another one of the Rangers. He's not the Ranger I think you want right now. I'm not totally sure um, what he's doing. Again, I'll post the stats on the screen. Capo Caco is the guy everybody seems to be chasing, but he is young, 1998, so he's got a whole lot of promise. Leah Sanderson, Jimmy Howard, Jordan Stahl, and Pekka Rene. So one of our young guns down. We'll pull off pile two here. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's one of the frustrating things here, talking a little bit more about uh, the hobby. Um, you're going to have kids who are never going to get to open those boxes because at $430 a piece, um, as Joe Pavelski blew, um, it's just, it's ludicrous. I don't know how anybody can expect for kids to afford it and enjoy the hobby. $430 for a hobby box with no guarantee of a hit. It just seems like it's getting crazier and crazier. So hopefully somebody takes a long look in the mirror at Panini and says, hey, we need to, to bring this hobby back to earth a little bit. And uh, yeah, back to hockey we go. Alexander Steen, Brandon Tanev, Peter Morazic. We've got another uh, OPG rookie update of Morgan Frost. Again, not numbered. Patrick Kane, James Reimer, Carl Hagelin, and uh, Michael Grabner. I'm trying to move through these a little quicker. I know that, you know, sometimes I tend to lag and talk, but yeah. Looks like we've got another marquee rookie. So Kevin Fiala, Paul Byron, Alex Iafalo, Carter Hutton, and there's a marquee rookie right there of Connor Bunneman. Robbie Ferry, or Robbie, sorry, Robbie Fabry, Alec Martinez, and Ryan Murray. Jumping into another pack here. Over for the big names, the Kales, the, the Quinn Hughes's. Um, I don't think I'll do a whole lot more hockey this season. I think I've probably spent most of my money that I'm going to spend on hockey. But uh, it's been a very fun rip. So Madison Bowie, uh, Jack Roslovich, Junis Kopersalo, Anton Strollman, and there's a Sam Lafferty, which I think I pulled a Sam Lafferty yesterday out of the retail. So not horrible. I think it does about 8 bucks. Uh, nothing crazy. I have my two-year-old coming in to say hi. Hi, buddy. What's going on? Just opening hockey cards. You want to say hi to everybody? Yeah. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? No? Don't want to? Now you're shy? Are you going watching your movies in the other room? So we have a canvas in here. It appears to be just a base canvas. But Mark Edward Vlasic. Hi. Jacob Slavin. There he is. Hi. Sam Garner. Travis Konechny. Hi. They hear you, bud. Athanasiu. Chris Letang, Nate Schmidt, and Mika Zabanaja. Don't crash into stuff. You and Marty go out and watch a movie. No, no. No. 
Oh, so no big inserts yet. We got Anti Ranta. Is it Ranta? Yeah. Trevor Lewis, Artemi Panarin, Joe Pavelski, Matt Zuccarello. So I've actually got two of the the retro OPGs. Semi Varlamov, Craig Smith, and Blake Wheeler. I'll keep running here. Hope to pull something nice out of here. Open acetate or something cool. So we've got a the UD canvas. No young gun, it looks like. Artemi Panarin, Andre Zakache, yep. Brady Sky, Bobby Ryan. So we're loading up our canvas set. Matt Niskanen, Matt Zuccarello, and Ben Bishop. So nothing great. Hopefully they're hiding in the bottom. Let me know what you guys think about, uh, you know, Panini and their pricing. Obviously, I've just voiced my opinion, but uh, you know, I wish companies like Upper Deck and Tops had the ability to do other sports, as well as Panini having the ability to do baseball with logos. So it's kind of a back and forth. Alex Debrinkit. Jamie Ben, Jacob Verana, Ryan Miller, and a Noah Dobson marquee rookies. Shane Goss to spare, Colin Wilson, and Charlie McAvoy. Keep chugging along. Looking for anything red on the back. Don't see it there. Milan Lucic, Anthony D'Angelo, Kevin Hayes, Tyler Myers. This is a Jonathan Davidson UD rookies portrait. Anthony Beauvillier. Carey Price, and David Backus. Another young gun in here. Maybe we'll hit something big. Jonathan Druin, Alex Tuck, Devin Dubinick. There you go. I didn't have this one. I'm actually really excited to get it. Elvis Merzlikens. Uh, awesome rookie goalie for the Blue Jackets. I've pulled two of his... That's kind of dirty. I pulled two of his uh, young guns canvas, but I didn't have his young guns here, so... Pretty excited to have it. That'll go right up here in front of Mr. Bergeron. Mr. Bergeron's our good holder. Uh, so back to base. Bobrovsky, Calvin DeHaan, Ryan Johansson, and Alexander Edler. And we got a canvas in here. We got David Riddick, Matt Grizzlick, Zach Wierenski, and Alexander Barkov. So we're getting a lot of the canvas. Adam Henrique, Neil Pionk, Vincent Trocek, and Matthew Kachuk. Can't wait till my son's a little bit older. He's only two right now, so he won't appreciate the the rip. But when he gets older, hopefully I can nudge him into collecting. So Colton Sissons. But at this pace, he won't be able to afford it. So Anthony Mantha, Arturi Lekkinen, Jacob Truba. There's an Adam Fox, UD rookies. He's a very good defenseman for the Rangers. Uh, Travis Zajac, Kevin LeBlanc, and Oliver Ackman Larson. I have somebody right now, uh, Lake Designs, who's actually working on a custom logo for me. So I'm really excited. Um... Gonna try to keep this thing rolling. Gonna hopefully get it printed out on the back and put up on the back wall. So there's Dmitry Timoshov, or Dimitro Timoshov, Jack Eichel, Jimmy VC, and Artem Anisimov. This one feels a little thicker. There might be a relic in here. No, nope, looks like it's just the regular stuff. You got Phil the Thrill, Riley Smith, Anze Kopitar, Vince Dunn, Lean Bergman. I haven't seen him yet, but there's Lean Bergman, Nick Felino. Mr. McDavid and Sean Monahan. Bogart, go. Almost through this box. And we've got three young guns so far. What do we got here? This looks to be a hmm, this is a strange looking one. Nikita Zaitsev, Ron Hainsey, Pierre Luc Dubois, Tyson Berry. In a canvas checklist. I haven't seen the canvas checklist. That's funny. That is uh Nathan McKinnon, Leon Dreisaitl. Excuse my dogs. Declan, that's not necessary. Steven Stamkos, John Gibson, Brendan Gallagher. Hopefully I can edit them out a little bit, but who knows. Jake Gensel, Brian Elliott, Evany Dadanoff, Dodonoff, Brandon Carlo, and there's a Joey Decord. Joey Decord is another good goaltender. I'm really... Daddy, look at a mess. Look at the mess, yes. Daddy's making a mess with cards, bud. Who's your favorite team? The Bruins? Bruins. Bruins. Look at that. That's hockey. It is hockey. It is it's hockey. Yep, yeah, hockey. And that's hockey. Yep, don't knock anything over. No knocking over. No knocking over. And no water coming. Yep, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jeff Skinner. Huberto. Thomas. Nicholas Haig for the 18,000th time. 
Now, hopefully this kid pans out to be something good, because I think I've got about six of his young guns. So, so far we have four young guns. I haven't pulled an insert yet. Hoping for something neat. Brock Besser and P.K. Subban. You're not guaranteed anything in any of these boxes, but, uh, you know, a clear... Oh, looks like we've got a relic. So, Matt Duchesne, Braden Colburn, Travis Konechny, and Barrett Hayton, rookie materials. So, very neat. <laughs> no singing, thank you. Everybody appreciates it, but my son is singing. Uh, here comes the spider, or down came the spider. Pretty good singer. Thank you, but I appreciate that. Andre Sekera, Alex Galchenyuk, Colin Miller. There's a Connor Clifton UD portrait. It's very cool as a Bruin. Dustin Brown, Jordan Eberle, Gustav Nyquist, and Brandon Dubinsky. So we've got three packs left. And Merzlikin seems to be the best one we've pulled so far. So we've got another young gun in here. Yes, sir. I need milk. You need milk. I will go get your milk. Brandon Montour, Tanner Pearson, Derek Ryan, Eric Carlson, and excellent. Nice. Another Nick Suzuki. Can't go wrong pulling two Nick Suzuki. He's got one out of retail and one out of hobby. So that's very good. Definitely. Anytime we'll take a Nick Suzuki. I posted his stats in one of my last videos. Excellent player. So maybe we can pull something clear or a UD exclusive out of one of these. And doesn't look like it, but Corey Schneider, Justin Ablocator, Gabriel Anderskog. Oh, look at that. So that is a gold Vili Hainola portrait. That is number two. You can see 15 of 99. I pulled a blue of this parallel of Vili Hainola. I'm uh, not Vili Hainola, excuse me, Dominic Kubelik. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the odds are on these. I think they're moderately rare. I'm in probably the four or five hobby boxes. I've only gotten a couple that have been numbered, so pretty cool. And those are all base. So last pack. Bethany, can you say last pack mojo? Last pack mojo. Last pack mojo. Here we go. What do we got, buddy? We got anything good in here? No. Nope. Eric Johnson, you'll hold it? Mm -hmm. I'll give you a couple cards and we're done, okay? Anders Lee, Mario Ferraro. That looks like that'll probably round us out. Adrian Kempe, Burakovsky, Jason Spezza. So looks like our big hits out of here are going to be Merz Leakins and Nick Suzuki. Two excellent rookies. Um, two you're very happy to pull. We got a Vili Hainola at a 99, so that's kind of the insert we're going to get. Got a... And four other young guns. So it looks like we got six young guns, a rookie materials, and an insert. So I'll just throw these in a sleeve. We got Lindgren. There's a tiny hand right there on the screen, as you can see it. Oh, can't quite... Oh, there it is. Say hello! He's throwing the thumbs up. <laughs> uh, you're the man. You're the man, buddy. The man, he likes now he's found out he can stick his thumb in front of the camera and he will do it. So, guys, when he gets a little older, I will have him ripping boxes with me. So, hopefully, this channel keeps up and uh, you know, we keep plugging along. Thank you, everybody. Uh, definitely post in your post in the comments below kind of what your intake is or your input is on you know the current situation with pricing and the inflation of Panini products if they're worth buying still, if there's a better place to get them more inexpensive, and we'll kind of go from there. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.